Hello everyone, this is uh, the first video in a video series talking about PTC MathCAD. We're going to be talking about some of its functionalities and usage. Um, in later videos you're going to see some actual tutorials and uh, kind of brief videos on, on certain aspects of MathCAD, whether that's the programming feature um, or just maybe discussing some of the integration with uh, popular CAD softwares. Uh, but to begin for today, we're going to kind of do a brief overview of what is MathCAD and how it can be useful to you in some of your engineering processes. Well, to begin, MathCAD is a professional engineering calculation notebook. So what does that exactly mean? Well, it features an easy-to-use whiteboard interface where you can clearly outline and detail your engineering calculations and solutions. So as you can kind of see from my example here, a flight of a projectile is just a simple engineering problem where a ball is thrown upward in the air. You, I outlined the initial problem statement in text, and then below I have, out, I have my variables defined with their corresponding units. Now one of the great things about MathCAD is its units intelligence. So it has very, very strong unit conversions, and it keeps track of your units. So if you have a unit mistake somewhere in one of your equations, it'll alert you saying the units are incorrect, or you have a missing unit somewhere. So it's an easy way to keep track of your units, which is kind of refreshing compared to some of the programs and software tools that you may be used to, such as Excel, where you have to manually input your units and make sure the conversions are done appropriately um, and monitoring yourself, which can be tedious and takes a lot of engineering hours, which, which costs money. So this is a great way to keep things organized and make sure your calculations are correct and accurate in a very detailed and professional manner. MathCAD has very powerful engineering calculation capabilities as well. So this can do anything that you would want from a engineering notebook software. So this can do everything from differential equations to basic integrals, and it can plot your data in a very nice plotting feature, which you're probably used to um, with tools such as Excel. But it has a very nice uh, kind of display of how your, your plots can be done um, and it has various other programming features to, to solve some of your more complex problems. What's great about MathCAD as well is it has strong integration with CAD software and Excel. So if you're used to using Excel in a spreadsheet environment where most of your engineering processes are detailed in some form or another um, in Excel, you can use MathCAD to import and export your your Excel uh, documentation and your Excel spreadsheet calculations. So you can easily work back and forth. It's a push-pull method. It's bidirectional. And not only can it work with Excel, but it can work with CAD systems such as Creo or SolidWorks. This is a very, very strong feature of MathCAD, which makes makes uh, engineering documentation a lot easier um, and, you, and you can kind of integrate it with your CAD system to optimize and, and do design studies on your problems. So if you want to find out why a feature is a certain dimension, you can do a detailed calculation in MathCAD and find out why a certain dimension or part of a feature is a certain length or, or width, for example. So what else is great about MathCAD? Well, it's, it has a comprehensive programming capabilities. So it has the basic if-then programming statements. Now you see this in, in programs such as Excel, but Excel is a little bit more complex and not as easy to understand. With MathCAD, it's very straightforward and very easy to use right out of the box. So MathCAD can be used from any, any engineering standpoint, whether you're the design engineer working on a specific component and trying to figure out the appropriate features and dimensions of that component, or if you're the engineering manager where you want to validate and verify what your engineers are doing, maybe you want to make sure they're using the, the right constraints, they're, they're using the right equations, and you want to see what kind of output graph they're getting or, or what kind of outputs they're getting. So it's a very nice way to make sure the solutions they're getting make sense, and you can see what, what, they're, what they're using, what units they're using, and what constraints they're using. So additionally, it's great for teams. It enables teams to very clearly communicate engineering mathematics and their design parameters. So make sure all, all the teams are on the same page and they're all doing the same thing in a very outline and, and professional environment. Now, what well, the difference between MathCAD and Excel is that Excel, it's a little bit more complex and more confusing to read what's going on. So here's a screenshot I kind of took earlier of, a, of an Excel equation you would probably see. Now, we're all probably familiar with what, what this is right here. It's, a, it's what you would see in the formula bar of an Excel cell. 
where this is um, a, probably it's not it's not too complex of an equation, but it's what you would see, and, and it's pretty confusing to read. So if you're giving this to either you know your your boss or or another engineer or someone else on your team or maybe um, a, a team in a different department, they don't really understand what this equation is. They have to look at all these cell references and go back to the cells to figure out what kind of calculations you're doing. What's great about MathCAD is it's very neat and organized, as you kind of see below. You can clearly see what variables you are using and the equation you're using, where this is much more hard to read in, in, terms, of ex, in terms of looking at the Excel equation than, than the MathCAD equation. Now, they both output the same number, but MathCAD does it in a more clear fashion. It even includes units, which Excel does not. So this is some of the basics of, of MathCAD and how it can be useful. You can clearly outline step by step by step of what your, your solution is and what, what your problem is. And it makes things very neat and in a very professional and clean environment. So this is kind of the basics. There's a lot of other things you can do with MathCAD, which will be detailing and outlining in future videos. But I wanted to kind of give you a basic introduction and a kind of a top-down view of PTC MathCAD. Uh, we'll be doing more videos in the future, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you.